Oh, hey. Welcome to my apartment. Why don't I show you around here? Come on, get out of there. Let's go. This is my small apartment room. Let's go check it out, hey. So yeah, uh, I just recently like moved in into this place, right? And this is a 1K apartment here in Kyoto, Japan. I just, I recently just moved in and I kind of just wanted to give a little bit of a walk through this place. I think that it's interesting just to show how an apartment here in Japan kind of looks like. I just started in, uh, we have what? It's called a Genkan, right? Where you use like your shoes and we have this small space right here. I uh, usually just keep my shoes right here. I think it's well known already, right? In Japanese houses, you pretty much take your shoes off before uh, coming in. Also, uh, something that I, I think like if you're gonna visit a house anyways, you want to leave your shoes facing outside the door like this. I think at least if you're gonna visit someone, so it's just easier to, you know, keep them out and ready to go. Instead of just like, you know, whatever, spraying them, like whatever. Uh? But I mean, if you ever visit my place, I probably wouldn't care too much, right? Something that I really like about this place is that you have your own washing uh, machine right here, right? So, actually this place has come fully furnished, which I, I do appreciate it, comfortable to have like your own washing room, not having to go and you know, go to a separate room. Anyways, it's just a normal thing. Um, yeah, th I think this is the most interesting one, the kitchen, right? So as you can see right here, <laughs> uh, whatever you call this, right? Dish rack, whatever. I wanted to put like this thing here, right? Like I just wanted to. I just wanted to put like this thing hanging over here, but it's obviously too heavy. I had one in my previous room where I, I, you know, I was able to just put the rack up there. But the problem with this is like, <laughs> I tried it and it just fell down. So I just want to make sure to, I want to remake it, right? So I can just like put it maybe up here. Now the next thing that I want to show right now is just, um, yeah, this piece is super, super small, right? So we have two stoves, which I really appreciate, right? Most interesting thing is we only have a sink, stoves, and this, when I want to cook, I have to pop this thing, right? And it's hard. Now I do know that in the 100 yen shops they sell like some sort of extensions, so you're able to, you know, maybe do your things easier here, but you know, it's a little bit uh, inconvenient, I can say, but hey, you're living in a very small place you have to deal you have to deal with those things we have rice cooker we have the microwave right here pretty cool fridge right here pretty cool pretty cool little stand right here and now this is actually the bathroom right so uh, i actually like this part of the room because you have like right now as you can see here you have the bathroom right there there's a small space you know to put my shit here um for the toilet too uh, <laughs> i mean it's just like a toilet room it is connected with the bathroom right here which i will show you in a bit but what i really like about this bathroom is that you have like this like kind of toilet right where you can actually um get your ass clean you see right here you have the small and the big kanji this means when you just flush uh, let's say uh, I had made it number two, right? I'm gonna flush it. Okay. Yeah. That's gonna make water come out. So you can just wash your hands pretty conveniently. I can say so myself. I kind of like this kind of toilet. like <laughs> just a toilet, but I honestly can't appreciate it. Like, at the very least, being able to kind of clean your ass, right? It's just disgusting when you just have to use your toilet paper to, you know, just clean it like. Well, well, what's wrong with putting some water into it, right? Uh, now, the next thing, actually, that I found funny right here. Uh, these buttons, right? Uh, this button is to stop, right? This one over here that has, like, the two kind of sticks. This one that, that looks like it's bowls getting water. Well, they, this is read Oshiri. 
And this is to clean, well, not your balls, your ass, right? Your, your butt, your butt. Let's just put it like that. And we did this for the girls, so they can clean their part. Um, you have different functions as well, as, such as the pressure of the water, so you can make it very weak. You see this one, this candy right here, or very strong. Uh, that, no. That's up to you, my friend. Okay, next, the uh, other part that I love about this place is the actual bathroom. Pretty standard. Uh, you have your own shower right here. Uh, you know, which you can turn it to also get some water from here or from the shower. If you just go through this button, right? Like you just like turn it, go go for shower. And well, also it comes with a off-wheel, right? Which I can pretty much appreciate, right? Like, I appreciate a good of off -wheel. Actually, this functions, which, as you may have noticed, like this bathroom, it may be like, well, it's very close, right? There's no windows, there's no nothing, right? That's usually a thing with Japanese bathrooms, but you do have like this functions right here, right? This functions uh, pretty much is just to like ventilate, right? To dry and just to make the air fresher, if I can read this correct, whatever. Um, and also you have a timer, right? So for example, I have something that I want to try, be my towel or any clothes right there, it's handy right there. And I can just put the drive button, right? I can just choose normal setting or stronger, put the timer right here, say two hours, right? And it will start. Starting, trust me. There we go. I like it. I didn't have that in my previous places. I only had like a normal kind of ventilation thing. But now being able to have something like this, I think it's a game changer, especially when drying your clothes. You don't have to depend on the weather. Now to the main room, right? So this is pretty much my main room. And let me just give you an outlook about it. Don't try to judge it too much. I just moved in. Uh, yeah, this is kind of like what we have right here. This is the situation right now. I, th I, th I think this part needs a lot of work. <laughs> and yeah, I trust me, I need to buy a proper futon or something. I know, I know. Also, you have like a little bit of a storage right here. Uh, so, yeah. Magical work, let's put all your shit in. Uh, you can hide a lot of shit. This area, which to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of like this area right here. Like these seats, low key, yes, they low key suck, right? They're, they're just not comfortable, right? Table right here. Uh, you see this part, it can kind of like move and you can actually get more space. You do get a lot more space. We did, uh, I have a friend, right, that we live, like, well, he lived in a very similar place like this, so there was more people coming in, we used to, like, take this table out, have more space for ourselves, and, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's alright. One, I don't know if I would say negative, or kind of, like, unusual point, right, but I haven't noticed that a lot of t apartments here in Japan, or houses at least, they use carpets. What, what, why, why is there carpet? <laughs> One thing though, first thing is we're in Kyoto, right? Kyoto gets very, very hot during the summer. So yeah, this is gonna suck. It needs to get more clean. Like you need to properly clean it. I think if you have a normal floor, it's just pretty much easy to like just clean it up, but it, it is what it is, right? I have a carpet right here, we're gonna have to deal through it. Luckily, we do, I mean, almost all Japanese apartments houses, they have like a CAC, right? Uh, fun fact though, I live in Hokkaido, which is the northernmost prefecture in Japan. And actually, I don't think a lot of houses have a lot of this. At the very least, like the old ones, they don't, because Hokkaido tends to be pretty cold. Uh, now here, I think like the rest of Japan, they have to need, like they need to have this, right? It's just like something you are gonna need because summers get unbearably hot and humid. Last night I actually thought this was kind of cool, but you have like your own security system. 
about here? Are any motherfuckers trying to use coming in my place and you know steal something? Well, you're, 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 you're getting catched. That, that's what I'm saying, right? Like, that shit ain't gonna pass. Not in this house. Little backstory here. So you might have noticed my two cats right here, right? Yeah, pretty cute, right? Pretty cute. Uh, so actually, this cat right here. So this golden cat right here. This little old boy, right? Like, he old, but he. I bought him the first time that I came to Japan. I think that was like eight years ago, right? This little body has been around for eight years, and today he's pretty, pretty good. Like, I don't know, like this thing runs on solar energy or whatever. So they pretty much just move automatically, no batteries needed. But the thing is, like, uh, obviously because it's like eight years old now, uh, he's been taking a little bit of a speed lately, right? He's been around. He is a little bit slower, but you know, I appreciate it. He's like my companion. He's been there everywhere I've been. Now the next one, right? The girlfriend right here, right? We need to get this boy a girlfriend. Uh, so I bought this one last year in also in Sapporo. But I don't know, this I kind of this is one of the things that I really love about this place. I mean just having this too right here. It's just it's just kind of cute. I guess I forgot to say about the TV, right? So, not the best TV, I would say. Like, uh, I've seen, you know, departments of this company having better TVs than this, but at uh, least I appreciate that to get a TV included, right? It's a little bit, you know, on the whatever side, but I can at least enjoy some fine Japanese TV. Maybe. Go! Eat! Hit it, hit it! Mm. Oh my god! But I forgot one point that I think it's relevant for this video as well. Maybe a lot of you might be saying, right, we sell the place and everything, but... What about the cost? It's very difficult for you to get an apartment. And the and the answer is it was kind of and kind of not. There's some things that I will briefly explain in this video, but what I do want to say is first, uh, the initial contract. I think that's one of the biggest things here. Initial contract, basically what it is, is you know, the initial payment that you're gonna have to give for this place. Now, depending where you come from, maybe you are used to giving a deposit, right? Or some sort of maybe, uh, money just to keep this place right a little bit higher than the rent maybe you pay it two times rent whatever i don't know but the thing with japan is a lot of these places do want you to have deposit but they also ask for a lot of other things such as key money uh, they also ask for two rents worth of payment so this not only makes it very expensive this might make it very expensive but others also want a guarantor which means that you will you need to have someone lives in japan probably that is Japanese, that can be your grantor, that means that maybe someone, in case you're gonna pay or something and wrong happens, will take care of that. Add to that that sometimes this place doesn't even return your deposit nor any of this money and you end up paying six months for the rent that you're not gonna get back. So it is a very hefty payment at the beginning. There's other things that you have to take care of, such as electricity, uh, gas, those are some things that if you don't know Japanese, and even if you know Japanese, if you don't know very fluent like Japanese, it can be very difficult sometimes to understand or set them by yourself. So let's not forget that maybe some places will reject you depending on your job, whether you're a foreigner or not. Uh, this is a reality. However, I do find that a lot of these places tend to be a little bit more friendly than other experiences I have in other countries. But yeah, that's something that you need to know. Sometimes you're gonna need to pay, actually, maybe you will need to pay a lot of money to move into this kind of apartments here in Japan. And if you don't end up paying a lot, there could be something shady. So yeah, always check up. There's always websites that are more friendly for foreigners and you can also get like some recommendations depending on your budget and your, what you're looking for. But anyways, that has been all for today. Uh, so what do you think? You know, I think this is pretty interesting just to see different apartments. This one definitely it's a little bit on the 
cheaper smaller side but i don't know what still i think it's pretty interesting to have like a place like this right anyways um if you like it you know give it love give it you know follow this channel you know give it some support everything's appreciated from my okay uh follow me for sure and yeah we'll see you on the next one right all right gotta go see you